Okay, so in this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to uh, display the last posts of your uh, from your Twitter account. Uh, so I'm just in this example, I'm just going to show you um, and how to display uh, this this one. This is the example I'm going to use. I'm just displaying this one here. Um, so basically, what we're using is we're using a piece of software called C C Curl, which is uh, a client side piece of software. Um, if you have paid hosting, it might already be installed. If you're running on a local server, it might not already be. Uh, I'm not sure if it comes with uh, XAMPP or anything like that. Um, but yeah, curl is basically um, it allows you to connect via different protocols, so it's like HTTP, FTP, uh, and basically to grab information uh, from um, different servers or like communicate with the server if you like. Okay, so um, my example page here. Uh, by the way, I don't have a tutorial on how to install curl if you need to, uh, but if you, like I said, if you have paid hosting or you've installed something like XAMPP or WAMP or anything else, then uh, it might be available. Uh, but I'll check back on that and uh, maybe make a tutorial on how to install it. Anyway, this is the page that um, the result of my code. Um, uh, yeah, um, I've just basically displayed the uh, last. Um, last post uh, like you, as you can see here okay so this is the code um, It's relatively simple there are some complicated parts about it uh, but it's very short um, this is the uh, <coughs> part where the uh, text is echoed out and obviously it's set um, as an array uh, so what we're doing is uh, you can uh, copy and paste this down to uh, echo out as many uh, of the recent statuses as you like Okay, so um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to blank this page and then we're going to start coding. Okay, so I've blanked the page uh, and you can see on this uh, page here we've got nothing, I've already refreshed it. Uh, so we've got our PHP tags as standard uh, and we're going to start going. So the first thing we need to do is establish uh, your username and password. Um, obviously I'm not going to enter my password in here because that would be giving it away, uh, but I am going to show you um, obviously how to do this. So we've got a username and a password variable. My username is obviously PHP Academy, uh, and I'm going to leave this blank for now. But when I come back to it, I'm going to pause the video, re-enter it, and then refresh to show uh, show you the result of it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is use the curl init function, which is the curl initialize function, which we're grabbing uh, the page that we want to work from. Uh, so um, if we uh, call the variable timeline, since we're taking uh, the data from the timeline or from your specific timeline, I'm going to say, oh curl initialize and this is a function so we're going to have two brackets and inside we're going to enter the address so no one expects that you know this uh, but it's in fact twitter.com so remember the HTTPS it's a secure server uh, and that's forward slash statuses and then we're going to go forward slash user underscore timeline dot XML okay so that's that done uh, we've taken our page, we've grabbed the page, uh, and we can work from this uh, from now on. Okay, now we're, what we're going to do is we're going to use the uh, curl set op function, uh, set opt function. Sorry. Uh, so what this is going to do is it's just setting specific uh, options for the page that we have already connected to. So let's say set op. That's a function. And what I'm going to do is this is going to be applied to timeline. So we're applying it to this initialization here. Uh, and then we need a comma. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to need to obviously apply the username and password. Being a secure server and need, needing to log in, we need to grab this information. So I'm going to type in capitals curl opt underscore user and then pwd for password. So it's, car so it's uh, user password. Uh, and then we have another comma um, and we're going to type the username so we're grabbing the username uh, from here so that's PHP Academy uh, and then what we need to do is concatenate a um, colon onto there and then concatenate the password onto the end of that I don't actually know why it's in this structure uh, that's obviously just the structure that we're using um, for Twitter so we need to do another set option and basically what this is going to do is just return the transfer that we've already done uh, and funnily enough apply it to timeline again and uh, once again we need to enter our uh, capital uh, text here for the um, 
return transfer and that's just return transfer okay so that's done uh, and then we're setting another parameter here as one I'm not sure why that is either but there you go that's it this is just the way curl works you need to get used to uh, how uh, you know the methods that we use and how, how it works okay so that's pretty much done so far um, all we need to do now is grab the result so I'm going to say result equals curl execute and that's a function and obviously once again we're sticking in the timeline there because that's what because that's what we're executing okay so um, I'm gonna reset the result variable and this is going to be to new simple XML XML element uh, and that's going to be of the result so what we're doing is we're uh, creating a result here using the curl uh, execute function and taking that from timeline here we've already set all our options up uh, we've connected and we've returned and now I'm resetting the variable to um, a simple XML element and that's taken back from the result here which is the result of this function so pretty straightforward I'm just reiterating uh, or re um, setting that variable okay now what we need to do is echo out the code so I'm going to say echo result and I'm going to use this um, a hyphen and a uh, greater than sign and then status and here um, it is basically an array so what we're doing is we're saying uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 depending on which um, you want to display and then we're saying text so that's just how we're returning it okay so uh, this at the moment as it stands should um, echo out our uh, correct um, well, if we come back here should echo this out here so I'm going to uh, pause the video and enter my password and I'll meet you back on the um, this page here okay so we're back on this page here enter my password I'm going to refresh the page and nothing has happened so obviously somewhere I've made a mistake okay so what I'm going to do now is go back to the code um, obviously pause the video again and take out my password first okay so we're back on the uh, code um, obviously I've erased my password um, and I've I've already noticed where the uh, problem is I've typed user user time um, I am tired and you know it's just how you get so uh, okay so I've corrected this error everything else looks okay to me I can't see anything else wrong with the code um, I can't imagine there would be it's pretty straightforward uh, I'm gonna pause it again enter my uh, password and I'll meet you back again on the uh, uh, actual page okay so we're back on the page I haven't tested it yet but I'm gonna give it a refresh and there you go we've got uh, my last post um, displayed there so now obviously what's gonna happen if you want to display say the last three or five or ten posts let me pause the video and go back and I'll show you okay so we're back on the uh, code let's um, okay so all we really need to do is copy and paste this down let's say we'll do the last um, two and then obviously from there on it's quite straightforward okay so that's done uh, I'm gonna let's say concatenate a, a line break on the end of this in fact we'll make it a paragraph break and um, okay so we'll go back to the main page and test this out and remember like I said this is an array so obviously what I've done is I've taken the um, element inside and gone from 0 to 1 and this is just going to uh, take it to the next uh, status I say okay so we're back on the uh, um, page that we're working on um, I'm gonna refresh and we should see both tweets come up okay there we are so you can see that um, there's the one um, at the top that I've shown you already this one here and then if we come down you can see uh, this uh, one here has been displayed directly underneath it with a paragraph break, break, break in between so obviously um, going back to talk about the code um, if you whatever you want to um, display uh, however many tweets you want to display you just need to copy that copy and paste that down make sure the element number inside is uh, obviously incremented each time depending on how many you want to display so you'd have zero one two three four five uh, all the way down that uh, copy and pasted um, uh, array that's being echoed out uh, for every tweet you want to display okay so I hope this hope this was helpful uh, just subscribe if you uh, find my videos interesting and you'd like to be updated um, and for the support as well so thanks a lot guys I'll see you soon